Hey, what is up guys? Mixelplex here and today, if you haven't seen already, we're back on the Sea of Thieves grind. Now, uh, a lot of people have been giving me either shade or just wondering why I'm coming back. And, you know, because for most people, I think they thought I quit. Um, now, while we're collecting supplies, I'll go ahead and kind of enlighten you on that uh, and, and kind of the reasoning behind it, because I did never make a video. I didn't really want to do an exit video because I didn't really want to exactly quit, uh, but I did want to take a break. So back in November, I did decide to kind of call it, you know, I was at that point where I was every day I was streaming and I was just getting more and more frustrated and angry and just super pissed off at the game. And I wanted to basically kind of do like a hard reset with it and honestly just dive into other games. That way I could kind of if I ever came back to saw I would feel comfortable again to enjoy it uh, because I think for anyone who's either played a game for too long or has been in content creation knows that like you kind of burn out pretty hard uh eventually and quite frankly i didn't want to keep feeling that way i guess uh so i decided to honestly take kind of a step back and you know reset come back and i'll be honest uh you know i just recently reinstalled i've maybe played a couple of hours uh since and dude i I gotta say, I'm enjoying Sod again, which is wild for me to even think. You know, it, it's been long enough to where I feel like I, I still have the the combat sense. I think, hopefully, <laughs> uh, I still have the combat sense. But a lot of pretty much everything I knew about collecting loot has changed. Uh, again, for those who, again don't already know, I loved world events. World events were my thing. I did them by the hundreds every month um, because it was like a focal point. I could work on it. Uh, basically, though, I, I just wanted to kind of experience the game as it is now. And apparently everything changed. You know, world events are kind of on the outs. Bottles, I guess, are really good. Shipwrecks are cracked and diving for events is a thing now. So I definitely want to hit that boat. Uh, but let's see if we can get ourselves that is a merchant. It looks like so Let's get the last of these supplies here All right, let's get going But yeah, appreciate everybody hanging out today uh, again I'm trying to get back in the swing of things today. We're gonna be taking kind of a quick look at season 11 uh, Kind of doing some things. I haven't done yet uh, But kind of this is a video to kind of announce and kind of show off that yes sea of thieves is back on the channel uh, we are officially making content for this game again. And yeah, we're back to it. We're back to the grind of Sot. And I will say from the few hours I have played, dude, I love the new changes to loot. I'm, you know, I'm a loot driven person. You know, at the end of the day, everybody knows me for a lot of my PVE content. Uh, but the PVP has been kind of lackluster, but the PVE, quite honestly, has been really fun. Uh, I, I got to give Rare some credit. All these new changes to loot, all the quality of loot. It, I mean, I do like, for example, I see a shipwreck and I'm getting super excited and hopefully it hasn't been hit yet. You know, that I think is a phenomenal change. And then hopefully, you know, this year might be a decent year for Saw. We'll just have to see. I mean, I'm wishful. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, we're not going to gas it up too much, but. Oh, Ashton King's chest. This is a good one. This should net us about 4k off the rip. I think roughly That's a good one. That's actually a really good one So that can come in a regular variant and then the Kings variant, which is pretty good. Oh My god, dude, this is actually juiced. Oh my god Ashton King's bounty skull. What the I Don't know if this or wrathful is better. I mean anything Ashen's good, which is nice. So we'll uh Put that there too. Already looking pretty good. Let's hit this air pocket real quick. Well, we did get two pieces of decent loot. No bottles though. There is four chain shot here though. No bottles. But ash and chest and ash and skull. That's a pretty good little uh that's like around I would say almost 10k just right there. Actually, in two items, which is wild. As you can see here, these items obviously look a lot nicer. I mean, dude, I love them. I think these are really cool. But uh, let's go ahead and... Well, there's a couple of things we could do here. I do want to hit up a small island and maybe get a mysterious bottle. 
Uh, that being said, Crooked's not really a good item for that. We might be able to find an Ashen variant or like a captain or something like that. So I guess we can check out each of these islands and see what we find. Oh, we do have another shipwreck over here too. Wow, is that another? No way, dude. What? Oh my, okay, that's actually wild. Now we can also start a voyage as well here that they did redo this whole system. So I think what we're, we're gonna do is, um, give me, let's do this one. What did we get? Crooked mask. Are you joking? <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. That's fine though. So we're going to hit this, then we're going to go to the next shipwreck and then we'll go back to crooked. Now, I guess from what I've been told, world events now minus the new revamped skeleton fleet really is like the only one to go for. And that's if you want the chest of fortune. But if you're wanting any of the new loot, which I think most people do, there's just no point <laughs> in doing world events. That being said, I still haven't done one uh, since the revamp. So We'll have to take a look at that, but if that's the case, man, that is kind of unfortunate and hopefully they definitely need to figure out how they're going to do world events uh, going forward. How do you entice something while also making it stay relevant? I guess we'll just have to see. Now, the last one was kind of a not that it wasn't really a bust, but it wasn't really as good as yeah, I would hoped. But we'll see. We'll see. I can really see something decent in this one. Uh, Captain's room. You really? Oh. There we go. Yep, there it is. I swear lately those uh captain's rooms are usually pretty good. You just gotta look near the uh the entrance. Oh, we have a crying chest. More chains. Decent amount of stuff here. That's a lot of food, dude. Holy crap. I'll take that. I could grab the trident, but for now, we're just going to see what we can do here. Wrathful King's Bounty. Let me know down in the comment section. If you guys know what the value of these are, that'd be huge. I am honestly so freaking lost <laughs> with these values, man. It's killing me. I feel so stupid. Right, I think that's mostly it down here. Between that and the crying chest, which we don't want. Man, we're just... Oh. There we hold up. I see a piece of crack in there. Man, there's a lot of good food. Wow. Still another kind of a miss, but that's fine though. Got another Ashen King chest. Dude, I mean, at least we're pulling these. I mean, take a look at those. So this is a Ashen King and a Wrathful King. Yeah, I got a... I have no clue which is which. All right, so... We hit Isle of Last Words. We do have a uh, shipwreck here, and shipwreck is just one of those notorious islands full of bottles. Like, you just gotta find it usually. So, we'll go over here, see what we can find. If we don't find anything, we'll go to Crooked and we'll knock that out real quick. So, the goal of today is to get Emissary 5. I, I wanna check out and see if they redid uh, Emissary Rewards. I heard they did, um, but. That's mostly going to be the vibe for today's video. If you know, we'll, we explore some of the new stuff uh, and maybe hopefully we get some PVP, but we're not going to rely on others to stay interested in the PVP. We'll just have to see what happens here. Oh, I hear music. Oh, yes, they're down here. Perfect.
Nice. All right, so we got two dark bounty skulls and a corrupted bounty skull. Those are kind of cool. You know what's cool about this too is, you know, back in the day, you know, I mean, we're going to do a little bit of history lesson for those who are, I guess, are new gen players. Uh, this kind of was what we used to do back in the day was do voyages, right? Like voyages were very much, I think, like the way to get villainous skulls. It, it, it was a different time. Let's put it that way. It was a different time. Uh, I kind of like it, man. I'm going to be honest. Doing voyages again is kind of cool. And maybe this is just the a mixture of both nostalgia and the fact that I've been playing for a while uh, is hitting. But it, it's been fun to want to do voyages again, uh, I think, versus just doing mindless world events till my eyes bleed, basically, which, <laughs> you know unfortunately has been a thing for a while and as much as i do like world events uh, i think they have gotten pretty stale i guess now that being said i do hope rare decides to do some different module uh voyages kind of like um veils for each company but regardless still pretty cool i am uh, i am enjoying this again which is nice let's do Bounty. Let's do another one. Uh, let's do a skeleton lord, maybe. Shipwreck Bay. The two faced scoundrel. Nice. It's right behind us. Wow. That is really close by, dude. I kind of like it, though. So, one of my biggest concerns with voyages in general is when you do these, you. I don't know if this is a permanent thing, but the fact that they're kind of uh, in proximity of wherever you drop them is kind of nice. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to keep doing these and get them, you know, in, in different region, basically, which has always been one of the bigger drawbacks. Oh, no. All right, come over here. I'm going to use the cannons for this one. We got a corrupted bounty skull. Ooh, hexing skull. What is that? Whoa, I haven't seen these yet. Corrupted bounty skull. Got one of those already. Hexing. And a bewitching doll. Ha! <laughs> nice. I actually brought these back. I'm glad they brought these back, actually. Felt like a very unused asset, which could have been, yeah, better utilized. So I'm glad they, they're actually using them. We have a little bit of lag there. Worried the boats pulling up, so let's get out of here. All right, so we're almost grade four already. Um, let's do this one. What do we got here? Sunken Grove. Okay. Wow, they actually made this so you're in proximity, dude. That is really cool. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. All right, a couple of fireballs. We'll go over here, run a little bit, keep them on fire, reapply. Ah! It should all be one shot. Oh my God, what did that movement? There we go. All right, so I'll put these right here. So I'm assuming 
You can't get above these. Or maybe you can. Maybe I'm just getting on severely unlucky. Dark bounties seem to be the more common one. And then the corrupted are kind of like, I guess at least like you're guaranteed two dark, one corrupted, I guess. Which again, I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. So don't crucify me in the comments, but. <laughs> <gasps> we found one. Oh my gosh. What do we get? Oh, it's a good one too. Okay. Um, I think that island is maybe to our north. I'm not really would have to go and look at the map, but oh, finally, man. Jesus. <laughs> I don't, my luck has just been bad today and that's, that's perfectly fine. I'll take it. That's crazy. This has been our first one in, uh, so far we've been recording for about an hour roughly it's pretty good i mean so far i mean we've gotten all of this in about an hour no contest really at all um let's grab these skulls put these here i don't know how much those are gonna be worth actually all right let's grab this Now, if you end up getting these, they're basically always king's chest, which is cool. So these are worth, I think, around 3,000 or so. Which is kind of nuts. And they're so pretty, dude. Like, again, uh, audio and art teams for rare are just chef's kiss, man. They they can make some good art when they really put their, uh, their minds to it. Oh, their talent to it, I guess. But these new chests are, I mean, they're, they look really, really cool. All right. So from this, we got a chest of rage and three of these bad boys. Pretty good. I mean, again, that's around close to 10,000 just right here. All right. Take a look at that, man, dude. I love these chests. Look so cool, man. <laughs> I can't wait to loot stack these so what like they actually are visually appealing So far we need to do at least one more voyage though, so I might just slap one down and we'll see what we get Yep heard it We're gonna slow down here. Nice. Oh, was that an anchor ball too? Oh, it was. <laughs> I always get nervous with anchor balls, man. It's good to farm them, but. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, so I think what we might do is we might go near Marauder's Arch and see if we can force a voyage in that location. I really don't want to do Old Faithful. Because if it's up top, that's just going to be horrible. We don't even have to bother. Nice. Ooh, look at those. All right. So we are grade five. So 
uh the goal for me today was to check out the emissary quest so um we're gonna go ahead and head on over and check that out because i am super curious to see how this goes so let's uh, let's go check it out let's grab our voyage real quick Ooh. That was a good shoot. Oh, perf. Oh my dude, that was you can't get any better than that. All right, emissary quest. What is this? Holy sh Isle of Last Words. Kraken's Fall. Shark Tooth Key and Crook's Hollow. That's a galleon. Vicious bounty skull. It has markings? Dude, what the f That's kind of cool. Dude, I might actually take this with me. I mean, it's pretty much got like no juice in it left, but that's cool. All right, so we arrived to plunder. Let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll start banking, man. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's been pretty good to be back to playing saw and honestly just kind of enjoying it again. Uh, I know I didn't really put out an explanation, but that being said, um, we'll probably be putting out uh, content from this point forward and really just seeing how things go. There's so much loot, to, you know, that's new to discover, which is kind of crazy. Oh, so those aren't worth two. Oh, these are kind of decent. How much are these worth? Things are going kind of slow. Oh my God, what? 12,000? What the f- Holy crap, dude. What the he- Dude. The value on some of these items is actually gross. This would be so much easier to add a treasure chest, but oh my- Dude, oh my god. 14k? You are- That is insane, dude. That is actually, wow, the coin you make from that is, that's, that's actually disgusting. Okay, um, I don't know if I would do that again, but I guess if you want to have a reason to go visit other islands, it kind of makes sense. But, uh, let's go vote down our order of souls. Got about two levels there, that ain't too bad. Uh, considering we weren't really pushing for that. It's not bad. Promotions. Hey, that's cool. Let's see if I can actually claim these this time. Oh, nice. Sick. It actually worked. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That crest is sick. So wait, I earned the promotion to then go buy it. That's kind of cool. I like it. I like the new system. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, we are back to creating content for SOT. Uh, again, I know it's been a while, uh, but I did need some time to kind of just reset, fall back in love with the game. And honestly, uh, it's, I think it's been a good, it's been good. Honestly, it's been really good to uh, kind of reset and, Fall in love with the game again. I think that's one of the things I was always worried about was taking a long extended break, but with rivals that allowed us to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, what other good faction stuff is there? I mean, I've only been doing Order of Souls, uh, but if you have any recommendations for the new company stuff, I really am that fresh with this season. I haven't really looked into it. I haven't really watched too many side streams. Uh, so let me know down in the comment section below. I'd appreciate the help. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.